Some people have been asking me about what I think will happen next in Bakido. Well, the truth is that I have a lot on my mind, and since the manga will be on hiatus for two weeks, let's take the opportunity to talk about it. Currently, the fight between Nomi no Sukune and Oliva Biscuit is going on. I don't know if you still remember, but in fact, this fight was the first of the sumo arc. I find it poetic that this arc ends with a rematch between these two. Now, assuming that Biscuit defeats Nomi, what should be the next arc of the manga? Well, I think we can all agree that next should be Jack's arc. It's been almost a year since Jack issued a challenge to all the fighters in the underground arena, including his brother Baki. I think at the Gaki you should give the fans what they've been waiting for. Bakido isn't many fans' favorite part, but I think Jack's arc could elevate the manga to a point not seen since Baki's Son of Ogre. Last year, a lot of people were talking about Jack vs. Sukune. I think that was the hottest point of the arc, and what came after that only increased our excitement. Unfortunately, after that we had several months with chapters that came to nothing. Even a new character appeared who was nothing more than a punching bag for Yujiro and Dopo. It's well known that Itagaki takes his time and cooks slowly. However, I think this year, he should put all the wood on the fire and give us the best version of his manga. So, depending on the ending of Oliva vs. Nomi, my idea of what should happen after the sumo arc would be like this. Itagaki should start now with the underground arena tournament. I trust Oliva to win, but I hope Nomi doesn't look too bad. In fact, he's a character I hope will continue to participate in the series. In fact, Mr. Unchained could join the tournament that Jack wants to organize. Who hasn't wanted to see a fight between these two monsters? If these two fight in the underground arena, it will be something amazing. Do it! Just do it! Someone else asked me what would happen if Pickle fights again. Well, I think Jack's arc is a perfect opportunity for the prehistoric caveman to make his comeback. After all, he hasn't had a fight since he faced Masashi. Everyone wants to see if Jack will be able to overcome Pickle, or if titanium teeth won't be enough to overcome the strongest fight in prehistory. I'd like this new arc to start with Jack training and making it clear who his first prey will be. Who do you think Jack's first opponent should be? Among the candidates, we have Dopo, Katsumi, Gaia, or Baki. And maybe Oliva will join the list. Personally, I would like to see Jack versus Mothopi first and have Jack get revenge for what happened in the past. Then it would be a good idea for him to face Dopo or Katsumi. It would be very interesting to see how Jack would fight against Katsumi. If he decides to face Katsumi, we would surely be seeing one of the best fights of the series. It should also be mentioned that this guy can now use Chinese Kenpo. Gaia and Dopo should be next on the list, although I don't think Gaia has any chance of beating Jack, even using all kinds of weapons and traps. On the other hand, Dopo would be a tough nut to crack. Jack would definitely not have it easy against this Carrot Master. And as I had said before, his fight against Oliva Biscuit had to happen now or never. And the results of these fights are clear. Jack must beat them all to arrive with credibility to his fight against Baki. Dopo and Oliva may make it difficult for him, but in the end, Jack should take the win. I don't want to sound like a Jack fanboy, but it wouldn't make sense for him to lose a match before the main event, which is his fight against Baki. And to clarify, the fact that Jack is the profile picture of this channel has nothing to do with my comments. Some people want Jack's first opponent to be Pickle. This way, Jack defeats him and gains credibility on his way to a rematch against Baki. Let's be honest, Jack is still not on the same level as Baki. As much as Jack defeated Sukune, Baki is still way above him. It should also be remembered that Baki was far superior to Nomi. And even though it wasn't an official match, Baki humiliated Nomi and made him look like a rookie. On the other hand, I would like Nomi to stay with the main characters. He is a fighter that has a lot of potential. But well, this is just my opinion. Don't forget to leave me yours in the comment box. And well, friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.